Hey Facebook. Yeah, you might wonder. Oh my god, that's that girl again. Always videos, morning and nights, often anyway. Yeah, but I, I do. I do them for myself. I'm happy if someone would listen, but I'm not expecting anyone to do that. They are not exciting. Um, my life is pretty boring and it seems like I'm complaining a lot. I really don't. I'm just spelling out facts about our society. It's, um, it, our society has crashed a long time ago and it's getting worse and worse and worse. I'm putting out links to um, video casts that are really, really important to watch. They tell the truth about what's happening in our world. One of them, one of them is Swedish. I know he can he talks slow and he can be hard to follow if you don't have um, read um, the grounds uh, about the deep state and all that in all the world all of that stuff that can be hard to follow so but yeah you can always try your best. You will learn something. I have been studying this, this a lot. Um, my husband showed me the truth 2011. So I have been studying this for many years. And um, I know I'd rather be in a um, truthful, dim world of, um, I, I don't want to say doomsday, but I mean, many, many would say I'm wrong now, but it is too late. It is too late. The future it's not looking bright. This virus we have will not go away and lockdowns do not work. It's only a prolonged problem. Um, it, Fauci and Gates took the virus to a lab and made it, they, they play God. They took a virus and they play God with it. This virus will mutate and mutate and uh, the severe effects, side effects that some will have for the rest of their lives. Many, many, many people doesn't, um, have any symptoms but they carry it and it's a very infectious but for 99.8% live and uh, live a comfortable life after they um, had it. I've had it. I took my own medicine. It worked. The doctors laughed at me and uh, wouldn't prescribe it, so I had to bought it myself. And I did, it worked. They say it wouldn't, and it laughed at me. But I know the doctors lie. I know the doctors don't want our best. Most of them are in on it. They are good doctors out there. I'm not saying all are bad. I'm not saying all people are bad. 
but most of them are. You shouldn't trust anyone. And I mean, you shouldn't trust anyone. You don't know their connections. You really don't know anyone, even your family members. That may sound grim to you, but that's reality. Everyone could be bright. Almost everyone. Some have discipline. I'm a very disciplined person. I will not go against my discipline. I rather die. That's why I rather die than put a vaccine in my body. I mean, if they can make a vaccine um, without any toxins in it, I could take it. I mean, people laugh at a uh, homeopathy medicine that's almost the same they take the um, disease or whatever it is and dilute it so much so it's just a little part left and then you eat it in the different tablets but oh my god they don't put any toxins in it. I mean, I got 18 vaccines when I got what was a little child. I got my first when I was six months old. And when you are that young, you have not the capacity to um, um, absorb it. Or, or so. I Don't quote me on, on that because... Uh, I don't remember what that doctor said, but he said something about uh, you can't make uh, yeah you can make antibodies against it. So the vaccine only put toxins in your body and doesn't uh, give you any safety at all because you're too young. So another proof. The doctors are out to kill you. And this fabulous leftist agenda, Antifa, they are just out to kill you. BLM, they are trained Marxists. The founder said it herself. It's on video. Easy to find. They are out to kill you, destroy your business. All of Hollywood would almost are on their side. They want to destroy your business. They want to bankrupt you. They want you uh, and your children to be out of food. And then the government came in and gave you stimulus package. Where do you think that money comes from? Yeah, from you. You are paying it. Do you think that they print out money and give it to you? No. You are paying it. More and more lockdowns, and there are the sickest places. They control you. Haven't you got that yet? It's obvious, it's in your face. I've said this since 2011. They are out to control you, and when they got you all the way. Like in China, it's a uh, good way to do that. China takes um, 
the mother's babies and put them in concentration camps and brainwashes them. This is open and this is filmed. This is on the internet. This is proved. And they take the mothers and they put them in another concentration camps and they brainwashes them. Then they reunite the mother and baby. And then they are robots without any feelings. The mother cries. The daughter responds with no feelings. Why are you crying? She doesn't get sad. She doesn't get upset. She only asked, why are you crying, mom? In an adult manner. If you protest against the Communist Party in China, you will be sent to a concentration camp Will when you will be working. If you are in on a conspiracy, when you will be an informer for the that party, you will be set in a less less ugly one if you say so you get uh, more benefits but you rat out your friends your family isn't that kind of familiar what's happened here not here i don't know about here but in usa people ratted out their neighbors because they had one more person than allowed at a house party outside. Have you not get it not by now? I don't think you will ever get it. If you say, oh, I don't feel controlled. I feel so happy here. This will blow over. No, it won't. It will get worse. The money will disappear. Then they have control of everything you do with your credit cards. They can follow you everywhere. There will be cameras and this 5G that are now on a very low. How do you put it? It's, a, it's set on a very low frequencies. It will higher and higher and higher. Didn't you know that 5G are used by military police to, uh, how do you say, it? they shoot it at people um, to, to um, they shoot it at crowds if there's too many people. Um, in protests and stuff, they shoot it at them and it burns their skin. Burns their skin. And did you know that all of our body are made up of um, elect electricity? Um, the earth has its own ohms, its own electricity field. All of this is getting di disrupted. I mean, 4G and 5G are not comparable at all. At all. It's just not uh, faster internet or some innocent thing that all are buying and all that don't agree are conspiracy theorists this isn't a theory this is fact so all of you out there are in your fantasy bubble yeah be there I rather know the truth and be a little less happy but 
Yeah. I'm a th I'm a truth person. I don't want to be lied to. I like to investigate. And I like to shut people down. And I like revenge. And if I can get my hands on someone who tried to hurt me. Someone is trying to hurt me. She's very hard to get to. She's got a lot of people around her. And I'm just one person. And I'm like that. I, I, I don't want to be in a gang. If I have a personal vendetta against someone. I do it myself. Somehow I'll figure this out. No one messes with me. It may take some time. Time is not precious in my life. I don't want to be here. I have no reason to live anymore. So... I do have a reason. I'm waiting for um, the dog, one, my Hungarian dog. He will save my life the way Jess did. If that doesn't go as planned, yeah, maybe we won't see each other next fall. A few days ago, I thought I had a heart attack because I had withdrawal. Um, I went too long without my medicine. It was intentional. I take a lot because I have cramping problems a couple of days before and when I do that my long acting medicine actually uh, do so I can go out any or very, very little for two days if I don't go out. So I did that to detoxify myself but I... <sighs> I get I get very tired with, uh, with all this cramping situation. My nervous system doesn't work and it's, it's wearing out my body extremely and it's wearing out my heart um, that already is damaged. Um, so it was intentionally but I fall asleep. I fell asleep. Uh, when my heart is not pumping the way it should be, I get extremely tired, extremely fast. And I still suffer from that secondary narcolepsy I got from uh, the swine flu vaccine. Yeah, I got that. They say, they said that I was too old, so I got no no money from that but um, I'll tell you you can get narcolepsy even if you don't are a teen but they didn't believe me as usual because they people cost money and they just wanted you to die people think that because Soros and Gates and Fauci, especially Soros and Gates, they are founding all good things and stuff like that. What do you think lay behind those money and those connections? Have you dig it? Have you dug any further? And that with Hunter Biden and his pedophilia? Do 
do you actually care about that at all? Hmm. See if you... All the Biden lovers out there. It seems you love it. Yeah. I have no respect for you. I haven't. If you haven't done your research on Joe Biden and the family Biden and their connections with Barista and uh, China and all that, shame on you. Shame on you. But that's what that was not what I was about to say. That was I got out of track here. All right, but back to what I was talking about. Uh, I fell asleep at uh, 30, and that was a mistake. I woke up because I couldn't breathe, and I had um, radiating pain from my heart. I know that wasn't my, my pack because, I mean, I've been training a lot of years. I know... I felt that it was uh, the pain column came from underneath the pack. It wasn't from the pack, and I couldn't breathe. I, I had to take small breath, and I heard my heart wasn't beating as it should. Uh, it was beating very slow, very slow, with very faint, faint beats. Um, short beats I lay there awake and I thought this is my last day I'm gonna die and I felt so happy I felt so released relieved so believe me when I say this It will be a hard time for the people around me, but it, it's not hard for me. I'm ready. I have been ready. Only one thing can make me stay here, and that's a Doberman. That's the only thing. If I get a Doberman, I have a thing to live for and if I get a per permanent sick leave because I could n I can never get a job in my situation I eat a lot of medicine the doctors don't know that and um, they could never find out Maybe some of you will rat me out, and if you do, I'm screwed because then I then I lose something. Then I'm, yeah, I can't talk about it, okay. So if you really want to kill me fast, you can do that. Very easy. Very very easy. It's up to you. I've been talking for 24 minutes. This is one of my longest video. I think I will upload this on YouTube too because it's kind of important. Hmm. The clock is ticking. I will not get up before. No. I will try to do that tomorrow. Not, not today. I hope you have a happy Christmas. I will. I'm so sure of my sugar addiction. So now I actually care. I am so sure that I know for a fact and I can promise you. And I don't promise if I don't if I don't know I can keep it. 
I promise that, that I can eat sugar for one day and we have stop next day. I'm so sure. I haven't been sure until now. If you don't remember, I stopped eating sugar um, the 1st of January or if it was the uh, last of September. No, it was the 1st of January uh, 2000, 2014. No, I, I, I'm horribly wrong now. I might not. What's, what's the year now? 20. Yeah, it was 2014. It has taken me six years to trust myself enough to f feel comfortable with this. Yeah. I, I took baby steps. I start, started with... Um, Last year, I could eat uh, some fruit, some sweeter fruits, some pineapple stuff. Um, but something triggers me, and that's apples. F first, my uh, IBS don't handle apples, but I love apples, and it. But it's lots of fructose in apples, and it's the fructose that I am addicted to. And for all of you that didn't know, it is the fructose that makes you fat. Because only the liver can use the fructose. And it can use about 50 to 60 grams. All above 50 to 60 grams becomes fat. 100%. Now you know. Lots of truth came out today. Yeah. I wish I could share more with you. And it would be awesome if someone listened. Don't you think I have proved my improved my English quite a bit. I want to move to Florida, but I don't have any money to do that. Back to that with sick leave. I have been on social security. Uh, that's um, the poverty line. So I've been living like poverty at the poverty line um since about 2011 um, but th then I was uh, seeking jobs and all that and I got small jobs here and there but yeah so I am now and I've been like this since 2017, but I'm only getting worse and worse and worse and worse, and uh, nobody helps me, so. I'm going to do a test, and then they see. I'm going to go with almost no medicine in my body, and then they're going to see how bad it is. The test is the first uh, I should really the first time I, I should uh, be known this was in a group and I can't handle people. I can't be around people like that. I mean that stupid test it was four or five hours five days a week I mean if you can do that you can hold a job are they serious I asked them if I could 
split that up take take it on several weeks and uh, do it alone this they, they said no so I couldn't do the test now with COVID-19 I can do it alone but I haven't asked them for splitting up for it's impossible for me to do it for four or five hours if it's uh, things you have to concentrate on I mean I have my Ritalin so I can I can concentrate in my head but I can't sit still because of my nerve damage and my um, uh, that stuff so I can't sit still I have to move around and if you're gonna do something uh, small with your hands that's impossible that won't work. I, I can't sit uh, with the table. I have to sit uh, with the... If I don't take a lot of medicine, I have to sit uh, in a, s a special way uh, with support. Uh, I, can't, I can't sit in a regular chair. No way. Um, and I, I'm gonna go there with almost no medicine so that they, they can see that I'm not capable to do anything. I can do this. I'm laying here with a lot of support for my legs and my arms and my head. I lay here in a perfect position and I have a lot of medicine in my body. I don't know if you noticed but I have a lot of medicine in my body so I can speak with y'all a long time and keep calm and uh, no parts of me dying I mean I don't have any feel I don't have any feelings uh, for a so in the bicycle accident I don't have any feelings in my right leg um, and since three years back, I don't have any fears in my um, all all my back muscles. So when I train, I I've learned my body, so I can train both sides guessing, and I can feel sp small muscles here and there. And when I feel them, um, that if they feel the same way. At the left and the right side, and I know I I connect right with uh, my lats. So I, I've learned tricks. Not nothing. You can always train around your injuries, almost always. I can't train my my um, abdominals, and that is something I grieve a lot because that's so important to me. And I can't have exercises uh, because I can't. I can't do to have exercises because um, I can't um, um, use my core too much because then I have cramping in my stomach right away, and that's one of the worst thing you can have. Um, I've. I have uh, constantly almost cramps in my um, uh, right hamstring and in my right calf. A little, little, little points, little like this. So, yeah, and I have quite a few tear muscles. Not big ones, so oh my god, we are up in, in soon 35 minutes. This has been awesome and long talk. Yeah, so I hope you have a good night. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm nostalgic, but I'm a little bit sad because I lost all that matters to me, 
lost my husband, I lost my body, um, I can never get back my body, I can never get back my husband, I can never get back my beloved Jess, I can, I have to live with a um, body, I have a hard time accepting. It's crooked. I have to think in everything I do. I can't walk normally. Uh, I can't enjoy my walks because I have to think all the time how I walk. And as soon as I let go of that, I become crooked and I almost cramp up immediately despite my medicine. If I don't take a humongous doses of those subjects. And that's not just possible. Good night. We are soon at 37 minutes. I will shut up now and let y'all sleep. Thank you for watching this long if you have. And if you haven't, yeah, thank you anyway. Bye. Good night.